Appalachian Trophy TV is brought to you by Martin Archery Whitetail Institute Hunter's Cloak The Hatfield McCoy Trails and these other fine sponsors. All right, folks, Jeremy Allen here, Appalachian Trophy TV. Very excited to be back with you guys again for season eight of the show and get ready to head out on our first whitetail hunt here in West Virginia. West Virginia has an urban hunt that comes in the beginning of September here in the Charleston area. And myself and a few other team members are fortunate enough to have opportunities and, and locations to get out and hunt. Uh, it's a great way to get out and kill some, kill some does, get some does down early, and even have the opportunity to really big buck if you're given that chance. Um, but I'm getting pumped up, getting fired up, getting everything ready for in the morning. We're going to head out, myself, Westman, and Keith Tyler, solo filming. We're going to try to take down a couple of those and uh, a few of our urban properties that we are allowed to hunt. Um, so what I'm going to do right now is I've got my no scent laundry pods. We're ex very excited to partner with these folks this year. Mike and the gang have put together a great product to help keep you scent free in the woods. This product targets human odor alone. It's uh, it's the top of the line. We're excited to put it to use and they have a scent eliminating spray. They have the laundry pods which one pod will do any load of clothing big or small and they also have the hair and body wash which is really neat as well. It's clear no fragrance, fragrances or dyes and uh, hypoallergenic so it's, it's a great product. They definitely put the time and the, the effort and funds into this product to make sure that it's the absolute best out there for uh, for hunters. So we're excited to do that this year. So I'm gonna take a chance to put my clothing here in the laundry. Got my treason. Love this new early season pattern offered by treason. Gonna throw them in with my lightweight pants. Got Jess's Vixen hoodie here and uh, and get ready. You gotta stick with us. Alright folks, well, we've almost made it into town, uh, talked to the, well, one of the guys there, um, they actually had a wedding last night, so I'm sure that they had a nice little reception party afterwards, and, uh, have, nobody's heard from Keith, <laughs> so, uh, that's all good, we're, me and Weston's gonna head out, Weston's on his way, and we're gonna meet up here close to the spot, right out, and, in the woods we don't have a whole lot of time especially with me having to set up my my camera arm and all that good stuff normally i'm line hunting so uh, i've got to get all that stuff geared up and ready to rock before i can um actually shoot anything so got some process left to go as you guys know that self film or hunt with a cameraman or anything like that it is a process so uh, we're getting ready to get it rolling the hardest part is, is done getting up and, uh, and making the trip into town this morning so i'm excited for the first hunt of 2019 uh, excited to put the martin max to the test this morning and hopefully put down a big old mature doe with great footage and be able to to give that meat to someone that needs it uh, which makes the hunt even more rewarding let's see what happens settled in the stand. As soon as I got up here, I had two big does right here in this area. 
but they spotted me. We were running a little bit behind this morning, and uh, and they spotted me. They didn't seem scared or anything. They just slowly walked out of the area. I heard them go down into this holler behind me. It's probably about 6.45 right now. Sun's starting to come up. It's starting to be a pretty day out here, but uh, man, I'm excited. First day of West Virginia season, baby. Let's get it going. Holy crap, can you all believe that? How cool was that hunt? That was so awesome. Got in here, had some deer in the area earlier. Did my little interview with you all and told you what was going on. And told you that they slowly worked out of the area. And I'm not sure if it's the same too, but I figure it is. They came back around, they circled me, I guess to check my scent. And I have my hunter's cloak mister going right here behind me with earth scent. And then with the no scent sprayed down on top of me, used the body wash this morning, washed my clothes in the, the laundry pods, and um, man, they stood there for like 20 minutes once they came back in. At least it felt like forever, and they would not move. I could see the bigger of the two does. Both of them were big, mature does. I could see the bigger of the two just laying in the back. She's the grandma. All of us know about that doe that just sits back and watches, listens, pays extra attention. The one that's smart or smarter than that mature buck that you want to kill this year. And uh, came up here to this piece of property, Weston said, big mature does, take them out. And I seen both of them, both of them were an option. The first one worked in first in front of me and uh, I could have shot her, but I wanted the big one. And I knew once the first one came in, it wouldn't be too long to old granny felt that it was okay to uh, to come on in and check it out herself. And I had a deer busting down off the hill in front of me. I just didn't know how it was gonna play out, but it worked out great because that deer busting off the hill kept their attention long enough for me to draw back this bow and put a SWAT broadhead in her. Now, I'm sure you guys seen a spinder, and that's the first deer that I honestly have ever spined in my entire life. And um, I'm not de definitely not proud of that. And I'm there's a limb right here in front of me. <clears throat> I really thought I could clear it, but I didn't. And I could see myself when I hit the limb. But luckily at 20 yards, it still it just kicked it a little bit high and still went in. And I put a second shot in her, took took the lungs out with the second shot so she didn't have to uh, didn't have to suffer. But um, man, what a hunt. So thanks to Weston for uh, inviting me to come over to, to do this hunt with him. Uh, and uh, and special thanks to Martin for putting out an absolutely phenomenal bow. 
and our new title sponsor for this year and I couldn't be more blessed to have this opportunity with them. Um, they make some great products, they really know what they're doing and they put the time and effort and the, and the funds into creating a product that every bow hunter can use and be successful with and accurate with if you have the you know the main things anchor points and all that and keep yourself consistent these bows are phenomenal and I mean they really are um, this is the max 33 and at, uh, at a little over 20 yards it just put the smack down on this big big West Virginia doe that's one of the biggest does I think I've ever killed uh, she is a monster but I'm just just blessed to have this opportunity we're going to get down out of the tree here in a second. Go check her out. You guys stick with us here on Appalachian Trophy TV. Thanks for watching. You baby. Number one, 2019. Let's do it. Well, folks, here she is, my beautiful West Virginia doe taken here in uh, Charleston on the urban hunt. You can see she's shedding here, getting that winter coat on, and she is old, guys. She's uh, it's a great deer to take off of West's property, and we're just excited to get the opportunity to come out and do it. The Martin did great. Although it was my first spine shot, it uh, it's also, I think it's the closest uh, recovery I've ever had on a boat kill, so that was pretty cool. And, uh, the Martin did a great job. The swap broad hit, I was surprised, uh, especially on that second shot to put her down, how accurate and perfect it was. Unfortunately, the limb caught me on the first one, but we still made it happen here, and that's what all that matters. Um, all of our equipment performed great, and just blessed to get the opportunity. So you guys stick with us here on Appalachian Trophy TV. We appreciate you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Appalachian Trophy TV is brought to you by Martin Archery Whitetail Institute Hunter's Cloak The Hatfield McCoy Trails and these other fine sponsors. How's it going everybody? Keith Tyler here, get ready to uh, do a little bit of evening hunting. Um, waiting on uh, team member Weston Saloon to uh, to meet me here and we are going to head out for the evening urban archery hunt. Uh, it's been my third time out this year. It was pretty close the last time I was out. Uh, couldn't get a shot at a doe. So um, I'm gonna go try to get it done today. Uh, we've got a few down this year in the urban season. Uh, you have to take a doe before you can kill a buck. So we are uh, doing some doe management on some uh, properties and the city really wants to uh, lower the deer population. So we are helping uh, the city of Charleston achieve that. At the same time, we'll take you all along, let you watch us and uh, help feed our families. So just, uh, Hang in there and uh, thanks for watching. We'll see what happens. Man, it's a hot in the day. About 80, 80 degrees or so when I got into the stand. Um, hopefully. 76 right now. Hopefully the deer are gonna start moving a little bit. It's um, 20 after six or so, uh, so it's getting crunch time. Um, Weston's on out there. I'm trying to get him a doe. I'm trying to get me a doe down. It's been a while since I shot a deer. Um, shot coyotes. Uh, I think I missed a big eight about three years ago. And I get stubborn and I won't shoot a doe early season. I won't shoot a doe, I won't shoot a doe. I don't want to shoot them on the buck areas. And then it gets late season. And um, they're all skittish and hard to shoot with a bow. So 
I'm trying to get one down early this year. Go ahead and get the jitters out of the way for when my big bucks come in. I have a good chance of taking them. Hope I can put on a good show for y'all. I haven't shot a deer with a bow in probably three or four years. I'm so stubborn, always hunting spots with big bucks, city hunting this evening, almost six o'clock. <sighs> There's a few of them there and I knew which one the mommy was to the farm. The other one came the hill by herself. I was trying to push the mommy doe off. And um, we're in here to shoot old non-breeder does. <sighs> Give a little bit of time, I'll watch the, the replay. And uh, get down here pretty soon so we can't find this girl. Here's a good spot right here. Looks like a big one. Here she is, folks. We uh, we got to track them a little bit. Got her, found her quick. 50 yards, I'd say, as far as she ran. Um, Due to just going out here doing doe management, cannot believe uh, the size of does that are out here running around. And uh, you know, we're trying to, to manage the herd a little bit and, and give the other deers a chance to grow and mature. And uh, you know, we come in here and got in here by five o'clock. I think I was set up five oh five, uh, ready to go. And it's probably hour and a half, almost two hours later, she come in, and I wasn't uh, wasn't gonna pass her. Uh, been about since I shot the deer with a bow. Uh, probably three years now, maybe four. I've caught, killed some coyotes in between, but uh, I'll tell you, X30 makes me feel like I'm cheating sometimes. <laughs> Dude, it's just, it's unreal. Uh, hope y'all enjoyed the show and uh, stay tuned for the next one. Appalachian Trophy TV is brought to you by Martin Archery, Whitetail Institute, Hunter's Cloak. The Hatfield and McCoy Trails, and these other fine sponsors. So, just a great bird down. I uh, appreciate you guys for tuning in this week. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned for the next exciting episode. I want to thank all of our sponsors that's been a part of this journey with us. Here he is, folks. Beautiful rainbow here on Second Creek. Here it is. Outdoors, Appalachia style, baby. Thank you guys so much for watching the show. Stick with us for more from Appalachian Journey.